Hi guys, I am filming the girl power tag today. I was tagged by your favourite Nisha on YouTube. I will link her channel in the description bar below. Thank you so much for tagging me. I mean, I only know she tagged me because she told me she tagged me. I haven't actually watched any of the girl power tag videos because it doesn't seem to be one that goes around as much as like the TMI tag and stuff. So I thought it would be really funny not to look at the questions beforehand and then you can just watch as I struggle through my answers so I haven't actually I mean the first question I looked at is like what does girl power mean to you and that is the only question I've looked at and because I didn't know what the answer was going to be and I didn't know what I was going to say I thought actually it would just be more fun if you don't know what I'm going to say and if I don't prepare this question because you know let's just do it spur of the moment and see how Trisha fucks up um so yeah the first question is what does girl power mean to you to me like girl power is like equality girl power is like girls being confident that they can do things just as well as men girl power is about you know femininity i don't even know if that's a word but it it sounds like it should be um is about how women can do things just as well as men basically the whole equality thing like there is nothing that you know i can't do that a guy could do apart from pee standing up like that is the only advantage that i think men have over women is that they can pee standing up um this is totally irrelevant to the question. I don't know why I'm still talking. I really should look at the next question. So the next question is, what is the best advice you can give to girls who want to be powerful? Um, believe in yourself. Honestly, you can do anything if you just believe in yourself. Don't try pee standing up, by the way. Just don't do it because it'll just be really bad but anyway okay so hang on what was the question again a uh, best advice you can give to girls who want to be powerful just believe in yourself like like i said there's nothing that you can't do we all have brains we all have the capacity to do anything that we want to do just put your mind to it focus on stuff an example that i'm going to give is i just recently passed a set of exams and an assessment day and it was like the hardest thing i've had to do because i was so stressed at work i never had time to film anything and life was just really really difficult and yeah the majority of the people on this course that I was on were actually men and you know I think I did really well I passed my course and um, I'm moving on to like bigger and better things and you know that's just made me realize that I can actually do anything if I just put my mind to it I don't mean just sit there and think enough times that you can do something and it will happen you have to go out and work for stuff that you want but if you put your mind to stuff and you focus on it and you get rid of any crap in your life that you don't need, then I think you can really focus on yourself and you can do whatever the hell you want to do. And this is where I think confidence comes in. Like, I think what makes a person confident, which is completely irrelevant to this tag, but I think what makes a person confident is just getting knocked down and down and down. And eventually, it, you'll just have to, like, force yourself to pull yourself back up. So believe in yourself and you can do anything and you can be powerful and you can do great stuff. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and how would you use it? Oh my God, like, this is so weird. I don't even need to think about this. The superpower that I would have is to be invisible. I'm really nosy, okay? This is basically what I would do. I would probably set up a situation where I was talking to somebody and I was just acting a little bit funny. And then I would, like, stick them in a room with, like, one of their best friends. And then I would just watch them talk about me. Like, I would just, it's like things like, for example, like, people at work. I would love to know what my staff say about me because, obviously, as, like, a manager, you do have to, like, not tell people off, but you do have to, like, be a bit firm with people sometimes. And, obviously, when they roll their eyes at you, you know that you haven't impressed them. So, to me, I would love to know what they go back and say about me afterwards. And being invisible would be, like, the best thing ever. And then, for example, like, you could, like, dump a guy and then you could go round to his house to, like, watch him cry on the sofa. I just think that would be really, really fun. Not to, like, dump the guy for no reason, but obviously, like, to dump the guy, like, if he was really horrible to you. Or you could set, like, a prank up on somebody and then, like, be there while it unravels itself. So, okay, I'm just such a horrible person and this is what people are going to gather from this video. Like, I'm such a bitch. Yeah, like, being invisible would be, like, the best thing ever. Show us your best girl power picture pose. Show us your best... Okay, I'm just going to go... I'm actually, like, really hench, by the way. Like, I've got these massive arms that I just cannot get rid of. And I'm supposed to be going on holiday to, like, Gambia in May. And I really need to start losing some weight before I go on holiday because, obviously, I want to look 
fairly decent before I go on holiday. So I have decided that I'm going to have to just put like my muscles into like a little bit of use and actually start doing some exercise. So that is my best girl power. Oh, oh wait, no. That That's my best girl power move. I could do a leg kick, but I don't want to because that might really hurt. What beauty product makes you feel powerful? I think that contouring and high cheekbones and my phone is ringing. Can you hear that in my house? Somebody answer the phone. Red lipstick makes me feel quite powerful and contouring, like high cheekbones. I mean, you can basically cut glass with this shit. High cheekbones and red lipstick, to me, make me feel fairly powerful. Yeah. Why is it important to have power girls as role models? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Why is it important to have power girls as role models? If you're inspired by somebody that is like doing really well or somebody that you want to aspire to be like, and you know, if you've like got no confidence, and you don't know anyone that could potentially be like a role model, then I think that it's gonna be a lot harder for you to get the inspiration that you need to do that. I mean, is that what the question's asking me? I think it's important because I think everybody needs inspiration. My inspiration generally at work is to have my own store and I have my own business one day. And my inspiration is like people like my boss and people that have their own businesses and you know are doing really well working for themselves. And those kind of people are my inspiration. And I think sometimes I'm not sure so much now but back in the day for a woman to like build up her career was quite hard now I don't think it's so bad I think it's you know I think it's probably more competitive now I don't I don't remember the question but I think it's important to be inspired by somebody what young up-and-comer do you think is powerful and why I don't know if they mean like generally in the YouTube world or do they mean like somebody that we know I don't know my inspiration is definitely like my boss at work because she's quite tough and she's kind of got where I want to be and so that is my inspiration. But I don't know when it says up and come out, do you think is powerful and why? I'm not gonna say people like Miley Cyrus because I think don't be like her. Don't do shit like that on stage when your mother's gonna be embarrassed. There are just some limits. I don't really know. Like I'm not, I'm kind of like inspired by myself right now because I've been doing stuff that I really need to do in my life to get stuff sorted. And I'm like really proud of myself. So I don't really, at the moment I'm like inspired. I've been inspired by people in the past, but right now I'm not really inspired by anybody just you know my own achievements will keep inspiring me to do things that I want to do and that is a really rubbish answer I'm really sorry like it's probably not the answer people want to see I am going to tag Nish Unleashed 23 Sabs Beauty Addicted to Too Faced I'm also going to tag I can't think of other people I mean to be honest because I haven't watched these videos I don't really know who's done them so I don't know who to tag but but Let's make a deal, okay? So if you do this tag, let me know and I promise you I will watch your video and to prove that I watched your video, I will even comment on your video. So let me know if you do this tag because now that I've done it, I don't need to like prepare my answers anymore. Sometimes I think like the whole ad hoc thing is quite fun to like not be prepared and just do the tag without looking at the questions. I'm gonna edit so much of this bullshit out because I'm just talking out of my ass now. So um, I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you so much like Nisha for tagging me and I will see you guys in the next video.